Hello, this is the Pythonic Accountant, and today we're going to show you how to use Selenium, which is a really cool, really powerful way to control a web page. And it's not unique to the Python language, it's something you can use in many languages, but it's really great um, and useful when you use Python to work with Selenium. So we're going to show an example of how you can use um, Selenium to log in to mint.com but you can use this example to show how you can really log into any type of website. And this could be useful from an accounting perspective if you're going to download a report or transactions, which we're gonna demonstrate in this case. So to start, we're going to uh, import the Selenium library. And one thing I'm gonna note is in order to uh, run this, you actually have to have the Selenium uh, web driver downloaded. And so in order to do that, you can go in Google, um, I use Chrome, so I'm going to type in Chrome Web Driver, and you'll have to go and download the Web Driver for your computer, and you'll have to check what version of Chrome you're using. So I can just check and say, okay, help, about, and I can see I'm using version 80, and so that means that I needed to download this one right here. So download it. I just put it in the same folder as what I'm working in, and it should work. And so let's go ahead and set the path that I want to save my downloaded file to. And now this next one, what we're doing here is we're setting Chrome options to basically download the, uh, whatever we download from Chrome, we're gonna download it to my local uh, folder here. And so when I run this, the last thing is gonna open up a web page um, that we're gonna then control using Python. So it's this page right here that just opened up. And so as we click through this, you're going to see, um, I'm going to now navigate it to mint.com. And now I'm going to tell it my login and password. It's not going to do them. It's not going to do anything with them yet, but next it's going to, um, click the sign in button. And the way that this is written, it's really easy to follow what it's doing. So driver is, is what we opened up here. That's kind of what's, you know, driving the web page. So in this cell, we're going to say driver, find element by link text. And so the link text is sign in, um, this one right here. And that's basically the, the text that is in the link that we want to click. Once it finds it, we just do dot click. And that's going to basically do the same thing as if we had clicked sign in. Um, next, we are setting the, or finding the two elements that we want to interact with. So email input and password input, those are these two and we're going to find them by the name and one quick note if you want to know what the names of these fields are you can actually right click and click inspect and this little guy right here when you hover it over you can go over and determine uh, the name is email for this one and then the name is password for this one so that's how i was able to figure it out once again that's right click and inspect and then you get to this little inspect piece right here so really useful for finding what the, the elements that you're looking for here. So we found the email and the password inputs. Now first we're going to do email input, send keys, when that's going to send keys as if I was typing it for the keyboard. Um, and it's going to use the string that I put into the variable login. And as soon as I hit go, it's going to just type it right in for me. I'm going to do the same thing with the password, types it right in. And then I'm lazy, instead of finding the sign in button, you know how if you just hit enter in the password field, it usually works. So I'm just going to try that here. So when I just do keys.return, basically mimics the uh, return key or the enter key. So let's see if this works. And it's loading. Sure enough, that works. Great. So this is just my little sample, uh, mint.com, which just linked to kind of an old account that I don't use anymore. So there's not really much in here. But you'll see what we're going to do is we're going to click this transactions button here by doing the same thing. We're finding an element by ID this time rather than name. And again, just to see the ID, you can do inspect and uh, the ID is right there. ID equals transaction. And so let's go ahead and click this. And it clicks the transactions. And let's say we want to export all the transactions. So what I did is I did again, I used the ID to find what I wanted to uh, download. And basically just by clicking it, it'll download. So I'm gonna hit shift enter here and it is downloading the file. And if I hit refresh, we should see it shows up right here. And there we go, two transactions. 
And that is everything. So once again, a simple example of how powerful the Selenium library can be and makes it really easy to control a web page. And you can automate this process as part of your workflow. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please click like. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Thanks and have a great one.